When Meghan Markle joined the British royal family, it not only shattered all the traditional ideas of the British about what's right, but also somehow touched millions of people around the world to the core. Whatever the Duchess of Sussex does, it instantly causes a wave of harassment online. So why did the wife of Prince Harry anger the public so much? From the very beginning, the royalists resented literally everything about Meghan. She's an American, a commoner, and even dark-skinned, which contradicts the concept of purity of royal blood. She is an actress, but not famous enough to earn forgiveness for her ignoble profession. The public is sure that Markle's acting talents are not enough to get an Oscar, but enough to put on a show or even to trick the naive Harry into falling in love with her and to manipulate him. Wow, you're pretty. Good. You've hit on me. We can get it out of the way that I'm not interested. No, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't hitting on you. Trust me. I've given dozens of these and without... Some discrepancies in the things the girl has said can be considered evidence of her malicious intent. She said that she didn't follow the life of the royal family until she met Harry. But at the same time, she once mentioned in her old blog that she watched the wedding ceremony of Prince William and Kate in 2011 with great pleasure. Meghan is divorced, she's older than Harry, and besides, she has scandalous relatives. While scandals are very much disliked in the palace, another reason is the constant violations of the protocol. It's not that crowd favorites Kate Middleton and Princess Diana never broke it, but Meghan Markle's not the one to be forgiven. Crossed legs, bright makeup, short skirts, showing feelings in public, the list of Meghan's sins is endless. A flurry of indignation hit her even when she attended a tennis tournament because she left her son in the care of nannies. The expensive wardrobe of the Duchess also outrages the subjects of the Queen. Journalists estimate that she spent more than $200,000 on clothes in the first two months of her royal life. And when she argues about poverty wearing designer clothes and Cartier jewelry, it is perceived only as arrogance and lack of tact. Meghan's inconsistencies in matters of animal welfare also don't go unnoticed. Even though the Duchess supports shelters and advocates for the conservation of wildlife species, she wears clothes made of genuine leather. She also drives a far from the most environmentally friendly Cadillac Escalade and flies private jets and helicopters that leave a carbon footprint. The media also vigorously discussed, or rather condemned, the situation with the Disney documentary about elephants. Marco was supposed to get paid for voice acting in it, which the actress refused in favor of the Elephants Without Borders organization. The public immediately started to gossip that Meghan deceived everyone and didn't transfer the money to charity, which only angered the haters and hit the headlines of the world press. But they decided to keep silent about the fact that the payment was to be made not by the Duchess, but by the Disney studio, and they did it, which is confirmed on the organization's website. Another proof of Meghan Markle's hypocrisy is the fact that she signed her book, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, even after giving up royal duties and titles. The public came to the conclusion that Harry's wife, although she criticizes the royal court, doesn't hesitate to use titles for her own benefit. People also talk about the Duchess's bullying of her employees. According to rumors, Meghan doesn't shy away from insults, humiliation, and threats. She can fire the staff without explanation. Similar gossip began in America after it became public that Archie's nannies don't stay at the house of Meghan and Harry for more than two weeks and that they all quit, accusing the prince's wife of excessive control. Despite this, Meghan Markle dares to complain about being bullied and talk about her mental problems. But for many, this does not cause sympathy but anger because in their opinion, a rich princess has nothing to complain about by definition. What do you think about the Duchess of Sussex and the hate that she receives? If you like the video, leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything interesting.